Welcome back. This is your quick reference guide for how to create new files, move them around, and delete them inside of the terminal without having to use your finder. In the last video, we covered how to move around inside of the terminal, so if you need a refresher, go ahead and check it out. The link will be at the end of this video. All right, so now we're going to talk about how to create your own files and folders without having to leave the terminal. We don't want to have to keep switching back and forth between the programs because that wastes time. So let's go ahead and take care of that right here. All right, so the first thing is let's say we want to make a folder. We want to be able to contain all of our files that we're going to be talking about. So let's go ahead and make that right now. I'm going to show you what's inside my folder already. We have LS here. So let's create a brand new folder so that we can just put everything that we do here uh, in just that folder. So what I'm going to do is make a directory. So we're going to type MKDIR. And then we're going to hit a space and now we get to name it. We get to name the, this folder. Um, let's just say it's our creation folder and I'm going to hit enter and let's list it out. There we have it. We've got a creation folder and we can even double check it in the finder. Here we are in the nav test folder and there's our new creation folder, which wasn't there before. Let's clear that out. Now, Let's also make a file inside of this new folder. So let's go ahead and change directory into creation. So in order to create a brand new file inside the terminal, we're going to use the command touch, T-O-U-C-H space. Now we get to name our file. Let's just call it test. And I'm going to make it an HTML file just for fun. Hit enter. And now we can see we have created this new test file.html inside of our creation folder and we can also double check that with ls and so now we have created a folder and a file and again we can use basically any extension that we want um, it's just going to create an empty file with that extension All right, so that's great, but what if I accidentally have created a file and we need to move it or maybe even delete it? So let's take a look at what we've got here. We have our test.txt. You know what? Um, I don't think that belongs here. This is more of an HTML file folder. So let's move test.txt out up to the, uh, to the folder above it. So what we're going to do is move it, and that is with this M v command for move and then the way i like to think of it is we're going to move from to now since we are already inside of the folder where this file is we actually already have access to it so i'm going to hit test and then i hit tab and since it, there are two files named test i can actually add the t for the txt and then hit tab again and it will find the right file because before it could have been either one. So I gave it a little bit more context so it can find it. We're already here. So the test.txt is, is our from. We're going to move it from here to, and let's just do dot dot slash to go up one folder. And I'm going to hit enter. And now we can see that it has moved out of this, this file right here. And it's now up here right where we wanted it. So we can go up one and check that out. Here we can see our test.txt has been moved. So let's clear that out. Let's go back into our creation folder. All right, so now we have test.html. Now we're done with our testing phase. It's time to get rid of it. So let's remove the file. Now this is, of course, disclaimer. Be very careful with this command. You don't want to accidentally remove things that you weren't planning on. So I definitely would slow down your typing on these kind of commands just to make sure that you've really gotten everything done correctly or the way that you expected. <laughs> so we're going to remove, which is RM, 
remove. We're going to remove this test.html file. And that's all we got to do. Hit enter. And now we can see that is totally gone. We have deleted that file. So that is your quick reference guide to how to move, how to remove, how to create folders and files. But wait, we just created empty files and that's kind of silly. So let's figure out how to, again, using the terminal, uh, add content to these files that we've created. So check out this video right here.